Hello, everyone, and good day to you. Good day to you. No. I mean, good, good, good day to you. Good day. Good day. I received a good day. Uh, let's see what if our good day continues with good daily. <laughs> Although I somewhat doubt it. We'll have to find out. All right. So, Hellhorned, Umbra, Exile Umbra. So we got Plink and Torch. Oof. Uh, at least we have a lot of backline kind of... Oh, yeah, we need to take At least we have a lot of backline poking. Multi-pyre. Your pyre is multi-strike. Good to know. Brawl. Friendly and enemy units get more damage, and your pyre gets more damage. And shuffle the position of everybody on the terrain. Okay. If we can manage to get people to go up and get dazed, that's useful. Musical chairs means that we can't afford to do supporty stuff very easily, and if we do, it's going to usually be morsels. I suggest we focus on either one of two different types of carry here and then we just feed them every turn and just have like one big carry per floor and just get morsels that that seems to be the thread that i'm looking at right now no no like a like somebody that carries the floor also this this this, this will go here now there's now a headrest no no not happening okay bye then Anywho, uh, imps. Imps are fine. Deal three damage, poke the back. Oh, look, we have so much poke the back. And then battering ram. Now that's of interest. If we manage to get the guy that just comes in with armor, that would be a very handy first turn explosion of damage. Mm. Uh, slay again, ten armor. Revenge, gain two. You know what? I think we go for this guy. Because every time we get hurt, we just get stronger. And the extra HP that we're getting off of Brawl here is really, really helpful for that. Exhaust cards get plus three to their value, or everybody just gets three more HP. I just realized all those backline plank is going to absolutely suck. Okay. Since the backline plank sucks, we want everybody to live as long as possible. Exhaust cards within both Umbra and Hellhorned are okay. This is a big thing for me. Hmm. Um, Umbra actually do have some really good stuff. You know what? I'm going to go for the first health act. And see if we can get lucky. It is worth mentioning that we do have a uh, spell seraph here, but if we manage to play properly around that, we should be okay. So, it's daily. We turn on all of the bonuses, unless we're about to die, because getting to the end is the best way to get points. But uh, if we can, we should put them all in. Now, these guys are all beefy and spiky. That's uh, not good. If I put you out, you will die. All right, you need to go up here. You can come down here and just burn them a little bit. Maybe get lucky with a point. Got it. Okay, cool. We lost an imp. Big deal. They lose some of their damage due to rage. It's fine. Uh, big imp. Smash. Smash. Okay, at this point. Get some life steal, my dude. Okay. Now, there's not much I'm going to be able to do about this next floor of dudes. So I'm really just going to try to burn one of them. But hopefully they have lost enough rage that my... Uh, champion here will actually be able to do something about it these guys are these guys are brutal um holy cow we're not even doing damage down there i get the distinct feeling that this daily is a hard one okay he's got seven armor here tumbrel assault give me uh some of this please you at least can hurt somebody for, you know, 10. It's not much, but it's something. And we'll put some damage on you in advance. Now, we have killed both of them. A great start. You know what? Sure, screw it. Just make that a little bit easier. Honestly, not a bad run. Just a little bit nuts. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit difficult. So fortify here does help a little bit. Piercing doesn't help at all sadly um I, I think we go for fortify here just to allow us to have a spell that we can use on our main guy uh and mind collapse is an x spell which we want we can also put that on primal dust to just no matter what apply at least three damage shields which is neat but i think that mind collapse here is good because at least that's six damage that we can use to get a finisher on somebody it's backline plink where we need it uh i think i'm gonna go this way take a look at the umbra side of things and okay if everybody's big and does a lot of damage then this guy is more likely to die 
compared to somebody that just gets life steal. Uh, that gets damage shield, sorry. Um, but if this guy gets big enough and survives, he'll be he'll be much better. So we're gonna go for the for the crucible collector here. Uh, spells costing one less. Battering ram would be better if it cost a little bit less. That's fine. Permafrost. No. Um, at this point, honestly, it's a little bit of a tough sell. I think that if we give one of the plinks the ability to do more damage, that's a good roll, and then we re-roll. Sadly, not exactly what we were looking for. Um, but it'll do. Add another plus 20 magic power and consume to another plinko. And then make another spell cost one less. Battering Ram is perfect for that. Battering Ram is great for that. Alright, cool. So we've managed to upgrade as hard as we possibly can. We now have a second carry. Um... And now we got an even harder floor. This is brutal, actually. They have so much HP. And they just... They won't die. Uh, here, you need to go here. You're gonna need to go here. I'm gonna send you here. And then we're gonna start by trying to do some damage to you. What I'm hoping here that we can manage to do is put in enough rage that, uh... You know, we're, we end up being okay. But, okay, cool. Um... 11 damage, huh? Sweet Jesus. Alright. You don't need damage. I mean, a damage shield is useful. Actually, all this lifesteal would be useful. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and think about what I need to do here. See, I need to do five more damage. A trained steward here would be lovely. Cool, you get the kill that way. Uh, and we might as well give you the extra lifesteal. Alright, and they shuffled us around. Not, not great. Um, multi if we don't want to play yet. Battering Ram does nothing for us right now. Yeah, I think we wait, sadly. Uh, the other thing that we could... Oh, no, our multi imps are too large. Okay, fortify, make it bigger. It's not enough. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Like, I don't know what else to do. He's got sweep. He just absolutely wrecked our, wrecked our face. There's nothing we could do about it. Um, kill him. Go upstairs. Pray for, uh, you know, to every single god that we know <laughs> that we can manage to get through this. I don't think we are. Alright. You have no armor. You're about to. Which does get the kill here. Yeah. Let's just do it. Okay. And you're dead? Excellent. What happens if I... Okay, hold on. Do you have lifesteal or something? No, you just have sweep. Uh, okay. Well, if that's the case, it doesn't matter if I put you out here or not. It does some extra damage. Yeah, no, that boss is also brutal. We managed to kill him. We didn't take any damage to our pyre, really. So that's something, at least. It's worth 50% extra points. Uh, still not great, though. Welder Helper is ridiculously helpful. Uh, keeps our main guy alive. I think the mine claps. Apparently not as good as I hoped it would be. Uh, Space Prism. We're not going to really need it, I don't think. So we're going to skip. You suck. You're not bad. You're not awful in this circumstance, because you actually can do some serious damage. But if you get the kill, I don't care. Like, it's, it doesn't give us anything. Um, yeah, we skip here too, sadly. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of an oof as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a sad for me. Uh, we go for Pyre Health. Not a bad plan. Also, that's double card. Is there anything that we'd like to double? The Welder Helper or the Battering Ram? Would it both be interesting? Um, the Fortify would be interesting as well. If we go on this side, we can get an artifact and potentially a Hellhorn unit. And the Hellhorn unit could be a good one. It could also be completely useless. This gives us a Hellhorn unit and some higher health. I'm willing to go with both. Uh, and in this case, the Welder Helper is definitely the right call. It's 20 extra armor where you can use it, for sure. Automatic... Ooh, okay. Uh, considering that we have devouring spells, the rail spikes will be able to build up fast enough that we should be able to get some decent damage out of it. The other option is to take the spike driver colonies because they are already incredibly strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely bring the spike driver colony. What am I thinking about? It is huge. Uh, we just need to upgrade it, like, with a couple of things, and that entire card can carry our entire run by itself. That thing is bananas. Okay, 
Let's 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 make this work. I, I now I see where the where the thread line is for sure. It has to be there. Okay, uh, you're about to deal a whole whack of damage. Let's not say we did. Blow them up, boys. Oh, well, you know what? Nuts, I forgot. Uh, Healy Boy does heal. Healy Boy's about to die, so you know what? I'm not too worried about that. You put a Welder Helper over here. You're still only taking fire. That's fine. Um, we could torch down. We could plank down here. It worked. Uh, that allows us to give him life steal, which is something. The five damage to me and it's Uh you know what? There's no real good place to put this guy right now. So let's not put it anywhere. And instead I'm gonna use this to put a little bit of extra damage on that guy there, so that way we have a chance of killing him the next time they go up the floor. Alright, this is bomb. It's bomb. I don't like bomb. Plank. You got rid of the damage shield. And Tumbrel Assault won't even kill them. What's the point of having all these Plinko spells if they don't do jack shit? It's very upsetting. <laughs> I'm, I'm very upset. Uh, let's see. So this is going to absolutely murder the floor. You know what? Put a Train Steward. Just get it over with. And then and Tumbrel Assaults to... You know, it's already dead after one attack. Like, there's no sense in trying to attack this person. Sadly. Uh, so instead, we need to start working on these guys down here. And oh, you and Kant, huh? Let's not cast spells on your floor then. Um, let's start using Kant. This is pretty harsh. Like, you're probably taking damage, huh? Oh my god. Sad. Uh, you don't even have life steal anymore, huh? Here, you take the shot, die for it, and then kill him. That's perfect. Then, over here, you're about to get hurt, but do some serious damage. If we do that, then you're just straight up dead. That's helpful. Alright, now we're officially in danger territory. Uh, you need to die. I need more of you to die, so that way we can go ahead and get more copies of you. Okay, uh, on this front... Hold off on that for a second. Yeah, we'll go for the batting ram. I want to play the Welder Helper, but it's just not a good plan. Uh, you are already dead. Omeo wa mo shinderu nani. So... Okay. My Hellhorn Demon Boy is doing some work. He's big. He's a big boy. Not an itty bitty boy. Here, do that. Neither of you are dying. Plink isn't gonna help. Yeah, this kind of blows. <laughs> we need spell power if any of these spells are gonna make a difference. Um... And you know what? I might as well stay in Temporal Assault to hopefully get a kill there at some point. The good news is that we only took a little bit of damage. Uh, you are not close to dying. Not even remotely close to dying. This makes me feel upset. Um, yeah, you're only taking 146 from my big guy smacking you, huh? We keep taking damage to our pyre. It's not a good look. We can't untumble assault to save our lives either. Like I think we just lost. Never mind. We live, but only barely. That was insane. Um, we just don't have enough damage. They are so tough. <laughs> we need to upgrade our creatures. Something fierce. Uh, more energy would help as well, so that way I don't have to constantly spend money on uh, getting my spells to be cheaper. Okay. Uh, if we go on this side, that gives us everything we want. Pyre health, money, and then our Merchant of Steel here. Upgrade units have another bunch of HP. Um, look, I would love to give this to something that mattered, but, like, come on. Uh, endless. On a multi-imp, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. What do we need to tank? Like, I have a Branded Warrior, and I realize that we have one, and I just can't think of why we have it. Never mind, hold on to this. We re-roll here. Large Stone. Okay, that makes the Crucible Collector a lot more interesting, and the Branded Warrior a lot more interesting, because then it means that he can kind of just keep himself going for a while, uh, especially if you give him some damage. But I think that giving it to the Crucible Collector is important. He needs to be tough enough to be able to handle himself, and then, you know, you get the idea. If the Random Warrior becomes tough enough as well, he can handle the floor by himself, but I think what we're looking for for him is multi-strike. 
So that's it for that. Um, that does the floor pretty much. And then here. Slay, gain armor 15. Revenge, gain rage 3. Yeah, uh, I, I think we still go for the tanky boy as much as possible here. Uh, I really hope I didn't make a mistake with that. Because as far as slaying goes... I mean, we have to take it on. Spikes 4 is not the end of the world. Um, considering how tough everything is in this, it's it's really not that bad. This is actually awful. Um, now, I could Furnace Tap right now and just make him brutally powerful. That idea. You know what? I might as well do this. Okay. And you're dead. Yeah, no, no. Uh, we just lost the daily off of that. I look, Furnace Tap is a good card. We're we're not making it look good right now. Um it really doesn't help that all of our damage spells do nothing to these guys. Like actually nothing. Um, you know what? You hold off on that. Let's go downstairs. I, I'm sorry, Train Steward, but you're now our character. We will likely die here, and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, in the meantime, though... Hey, you're not going to live long enough for that to matter. I hate this daily. Like, a lot. Um... Okay, cool. It's only 11 points. But our power's gonna take another 8 damage. More. Way more. Oh my god. Okay, then he'll die, and that's fine. They will not both die. Cool. That really doesn't bother me much. To the boss. What do you work? Deal damage equal to the front unit equal to four times the amount of armor on the front unit. Okay, cool. Now you're doing 80 damage. That's a lot more significant. Put you in the back. Uh, torch you, I guess? Should have. Mm, doesn't matter. Blast him for as hard as you can, and then we lose. Like, there's literally nothing we can do. Uh, we, we screwed up our first floor, and then died. I am really embarrassed about that daily. That is... Mm, we didn't make it past floor 4. That is... That is not a good run. Uh, so what did we do? We, f we screwed up our first floor. We should not have played Furnace Tap. More importantly, we should have played Cage Year. But this is a really hard daily. It turns out that when everybody gets big... But I mean, like, really big... Your capability of actually killing things goes down by a lot. It is difficult to get the kills that you need. <sighs> I would have thought that I could do this. Like, yeah, let's try that again. Let's try that again. There's got to be a way to do this because, like, that was super dumb. I still think that we kind of got the right idea, but let's go over the hammer chest plate this time. Um... That, that was atrocious. I'm disappointed in myself. I still think that going for the big boy was the right plan. It overall can do more damage. Slay trigger guy is not enough because slaying things is hard. Just oof. Also, everything's got spikes. What's up with this daily? Uh, I, what's up with dailies in general lately with me? I've been having a really rough time with them overall. Yeah, um. Life steal while you're at it. Yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Oh, at least we get the kill that way. That's something. Uh, okay. Because I admit, the morsels are actually painful this way. Maybe, maybe that was the trick. Maybe that's the trick that we missed. Jesus Christ, there's no sense in putting anybody down there. Just do the straight up die. Yes, bye bye. Okay, this top floor is going to suck. Plank. 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 And now 
Our pirate takes a bunch of damage like last time. Almost exactly like last time, actually. Uh, completely useless. All right, and he's dead. Don't mess with him. So, <laughs> just where do we even start with this run? Piercing does nothing. We don't want another molting imp. Fortify was handy. I, I still stand by that. Mind collapse is near useless. Prismal dust actually would have been more helpful. Um, for going for X cost cards at all. Like if we have a turn where we can just cost things, and that's fine. Uh, if I go left, what creatures do I have that matter? None, really. Yeah, I, I still think we go down this way, get the Umber Banner, get the Crucible Collector, move over here, grab the Merchant of Magic, go over here, grab the 20 Magic Power and consume on the Blink. Make Battering Ram cost one less, at the very least. Reroll, get double stack, put it on the Fortify. I still think that, that makes the most sense. 20 Power and consume on the Blink makes sense. An upgraded spell to cost one less. That's, that still all makes sense to me. I, I could see having 20 magic power and consume on the Antumble Assaults instead, just to make sure that you can get kills that way. But oof, there's sins, man. Just big, 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 big oof. Um, let's try this again. So you guys are going to hit for 11. He gets another 4 damage. It's not enough to get a kill. guy. Plinko? Hit the right guy this time. Nice. Nuts. Okay, on this bottom four, he's having a bad day. Okay, well that did no damage. None whatsoever. This went worse than last time? And it certainly doesn't help that the Spike Mage lived. Yeah, no, I, I don't know how to do this daily. Look, guys, if you can do this daily better than I can, like... Let me know. I have I have no idea how this one works. I'm puzzled um, and frustrated that I can't try again with a fresh mindset. But like, yeah, no, this one's screwed up. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. I, I don't need payouts, but thank you. I appreciate it. It's just oof, oof, big oof. Uh, you guys have a good one. I'm I'm oof. I, I gotta I gotta hit the gym. This is this is dumb. <laughs>